In this video, we are going to play our animation so that we can see it playing in game. Now there's actually two steps to this. The first thing we need to do is we need to trigger our animation to play inside of our widget. So it needs to know when to play and we're just gonna do that whenever it's created. And the second step is we actually need to get this to play in game on the uh, player camera. So we need to set that up in the blueprints. So for the first step, um, we are going to go inside of the graph node, uh, sorry, the graph nodes for this UI, uh, this UI widget. So we're already inside of here, right, in this window. And this is, this is the designer view, but up here in the very top right, if you click on graph, this is the uh, blueprint style node view of everything. And you can see a few notes here. But essentially what I want is when this UI widget is created, I just want to trigger the animation. Um, and so at the very beginning, we can just say, when the level loads, make this widget, it'll play the animation, and then it'll fade out, and we won't have to worry about it. Um, you can do some pretty complex stuff with UI animations, but this will work for what we need it and for our, our uh, text intro. So when this is created, and that's going to be under event construct, not pre-construct, um, when this thing is created, so uh, you can drag out of here, so event construct, and start typing in play animation right here, and you should see a node to finish. It's this top one right here. And we need to tell it which animation to play. Now, you may, you may say, oh, well, I don't see it in the asset. Where is it? Um, it's actually over here on, on the left. It stores the animation as something attached to this entire uh, widget object. And because, like, you can see it in the designer and we made it over here. Because we made it over here, uh, I just clicked the designer button up here. If you click back in graph, you'll see that that same animation is getting pulled into over here under uh, variables and under animations. If you had different animations, it, you know, you could just pull them in. But what I want is a reference to this animation. So I'm gonna have to drag that in over here and say, get whatever the name, whatever the name of this animation was for you. And you want to drag this for the, in, into the in animation slot. Once you do this, this is saying when this widget is created, right? Event construct, pull out and play the animation. And then which animation to play? this one that we dragged in, this reference to the one that we have already animated. And this should work for us. So I'm going to compile and then save that. Um, you know, you can click back on designer if you feel like you wanna do more tweaks here, but I'm actually going to close out this window because I believe we're done with that. And now, so we did the first step. We set up our animation to play whenever the widget is created. But now we need to actually create the widget inside of our level, because right now it just exists inside of our project assets and we're not actually putting it into the level anymore. Um, you know, you can't really drag it in there to do anything, uh, anything like that. So what I'm going to do is inside of my level blueprints, if you click on this blueprints button at the top, uh, at the top middle right here, go to open level blueprint. Now, this blueprint menu that opens up is going to be the blueprints specific to the level that you have open up, opened up. So in this case, I'm saying this pop-up will only happen in this particular level. Now, maybe that's what you want. Maybe it's not what you want. For me, this is how I'm doing it in the demo because it's how I'm putting it together. Um, but I only want this quote to pop up for this level. So I think it makes sense for me. Now. When we begin playing, so event begin play, this is essentially uh, for any of you Unity users, this would be on start. Um, and what do you want to happen when the level starts? Well, I want to create my UI. Now I could actually just drag off and put up the code for that, but I'm gonna start breaking this out into um, separate functions. So if you think about this in terms of code, you may have several, especially in a level blueprints, you may have several things that you need to do. You maybe set up the player, set up the UI, trigger the opening cutscene, and all this other stuff. So it's good to keep this particular node very clean. And to do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make what's called a custom event. So type in custom, and you'll see add custom event at the top. And if you hit enter, it, it will prompt you to name your new custom event. I'm gonna name this setup 
UI. Okay, so whenever I call this, wherever I call this, uh, now I can actually drag off and say, if I type in setup UI, it remembers the custom event that I created. So I'm gonna click that. And if you double click, you see, if you double click on this, it'll hop down to uh, the actual um, the body of my setup UI uh, function. So, uh, you know, functions are a little bit different when it comes to blueprints. Um, so I'm just, you can think about it as a function, but essentially when we hit here, I made this new custom node just to tie the, this right here. And when we hit this block, it will jump down here and perform some things. So what do I want to happen? And then after this, you know, I could move on to the next thing if I want. <clears throat> but for now, set up UI. I'm going to jump down here and say, okay, well, what I want to do, the blueprint node to actually create the UI is going to be create, um, what do we call this? Actually, let's double check and see what we call this. Intro text UI widget, okay. Create intro, uh, oops, create a widget. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Create widget. And we need to actually give it a widget to create. So if you click this little drop dropdown, um, you'll, you maybe you already see it, but intro text UI, just type in the name of it and this class drop down right here, select it. And you see, you'll see it'll rename your node, create intro text UI or whatever you named it, widget. Okay, so it actually creates an instance of this widget, but we actually need to add it to the viewport. Um, we have not actually added it or added it to the camera. We've just created it and it knows about it, but we need to add it to our camera. So um, drag off of this and what we're looking for is called add to viewport. Okay. And if you hover over any of these nodes, you can get more information on what it what it's doing. Essentially you need to execute it, but you also need to give it a widget to add to the viewport. And this is just gonna be the return value of this one that we just created. So we created it and we held on to this instance and we're just, and this gets output right here. So we're just pulling this into, um, this is the widget right here that we created that we want to add to the viewport. Okay, all right, I think this is good. Compile, save, always save. We jump back in. If we did everything correctly, when the level loads, right? When, when the level loads, we are setting up our UI and that is creating an instance of our intro text UI widget and adding it to the viewport. And because the widget, we, and because we told the widget here in the graph, whenever this widget is created, play this animation and we made that animation, um, hopefully this will work. Let's hit save, hit play. All right, so we're previewing our animation here. And it goes into the viewport. Okay, cool. Now the problem here, it's working, but you'll see the problem is that um, the entire time we are actually obscuring our, our player view and we can actually just move around and run around and whatever. Um, and that's maybe not what we want. And you know, maybe we wanna do an opening shot, like a little panning shot of our level before we jump down into the player. So there's quite a bit left to do, but we're actually getting our opening animation working. So um, at a bare minimum, we've, we've done this much, which is pretty cool. So if, if you uh, wanna hang in there, we'll start to set up a little camera uh, cinematic and then um, figure out how to lock inputs and do some other fancy stuff. But at least we have our intro text animation working.